Hi, I'm Ron Jackson with Acoustic Guitar Magazine. And today we're going to be talking about turnarounds in our basics lessons today. Okay, now turnarounds are basically a chord progression in any style of music. We turn around, we go back to the very top and it cycles back around. And a lot of popular music, we cycle back around with chords and specific chord progressions, okay? Now today, um, we're going to be talking about and we're going to be using actually a blues progression in the key of G to show you our examples, okay? And uh, let's get started here today, okay? The example number one is actually a G, the G7 blues progression, the 145 blues progression in the key of G. Now the, the one chord is called the G7 and the four chord is called the C7 and the five chord is called the D7. So, Example one, you should practice till you really have it down, okay, in time and um, not too fast in a moderate tempo. And let me play this for you so you can get an idea what it sounds like. And then the other examples to follow are going to be the last two bars of the G blues. And we're going to be putting different turnarounds that go back to the top of the form, okay? So here we go. Here's, here's example number one. One, two, Three, four. Okay, so that's a blues in the key of G, traditional, okay? At the very end of the song, we just played a G7 chord straight through, okay? Usually, we wouldn't do that. We would do what we call a 5-7 chord, which is the fifth degree of the scale of the key of G. One, two, three, four, five, G, A, B, C, D, and it's a D7 chord, we call it. So example number two, shows you um, the typical turnaround we call to go back to the top with a 5-7 chord, okay? And it sounds like this. Example 2A. That goes back to G. To D7. So what happens is I'm going to play the example that I'm going to play the chord, uh, you know, the key we're in, which is G. I'm going to play the chord at the end so you can see that it goes right back to the top. Now example 2B is a slight variation that you hear in blues a lot, okay? We go from the G7, and right before the D7 we played E flat 7, okay, which is called the flat 6 dominant 7th, and uh, you hear, it's very, very common. Um, so on bar number two of the two bar phrase we're going to play the e flat seven on the second beat okay and then on the and or the upbeat of the second beat we're going to play the d7 and here's what it sounds like you've, you've heard this many times i'm sure example 2b So it resolves right back to the G7, example number 2B, okay?